Okay, so now on to unit one. Um, some of you are finishing up projects before this, um, so I've created this simple video for you, so that way you can watch this and move on at your own pace. Um, you will need to go into your Photoshop section under projects and into unit one and into the signs assignment you will see something similar to this. Um, you will need to download two files. You'll need to download the signs end and the um, other file that looks here. So if you click on this you're gonna get this and you want to download image and you will also want to download the signs end as well. If you just click on that it'll auto download for you. So what you need to do next is you need to open those in Photoshop they're in my downloads. What you're going to do is you're going to make this look like this and then you're going to add two things to it um, extra that are not on here. Alright, so what you, you can do is you can go to window and you can arrange and you can tile these vertically and now you can see both of them so that way you can work on it. Um, we're also going to be using the eyedrop tool so you can get exact colors. So we already know how to fill and we've done that, we've, we've made shapes and we've done that um, but there are other ways to fill and there are easy ways to um, select different areas. So if I want to select, let's say, all the stuff in the first row that is going to be black, I can use the magic wand tool, which is the fourth one down. It's the W tool. Um, the quick selection tool doesn't work quite as well for this set assignment. So you want the magic wand tool. Make sure all layers are sampled. Um, you want to create a new layer because we always know that we need to create new layers. And then we're going to select that and then if we hold shift we can select all the other things that need to be black along with the bus and the arrow and if we zoom in if you hold um, the shift you can pan through your areas I'm going to hold shift and select the wheels as well. Now if I accidentally select something I can command Z and undo it. Command Z undoes that. Now I've just filled that in. Now I can do my trusty old option delete which will fill that or I can go over here to the paint bucket tool which is hidden under my gradient tool. It looks like this. Um, when I use the paint bucket tool I actually turn on cap locks so I get a little crossbars and that way I know where I'm actually filling in and then command D, D selects. Now I can use um, my eyedropper tool which is under my crop tool to pick the red I need. Now that's over here. I can use that to pick my green or my gray, whatever color I'm using at the time and then I can select my areas. Now I also need to put in a text over here that says bus line or excuse me, bus lane, sorry. I can command T that. I don't care what font you use. Make sure it's centered so it looks halfway decent. And then down here with the blue color on the bottom, text down here, I'm gonna say bike. Crossing. Now it didn't change the color. I'll fix that here in just a second. Still didn't change the color because I don't have it selected selected. So I go bike crossing down here. Um, and I'll change that to blue. And my characters, I'll just put this. select that and now I have bike crossing done. Everything's done and everything's ready. I'm going to fill all of these in. I'm going to flatten it, save it as a JPEG and hand it in into Schoology.